Today, we're talking about manatees. Well, actually, we're gonna swim with them. This is a bucket list item for a lot of people. And so we're gonna show you the best place to go, the perfect time of year to travel, and where to stay. Coming up on There and Beck. When you think of Florida, sandy beaches often come to mind. But did you know that the state also has spring-fed rivers and bays? There is an abundance of adventure and activities for everyone. Heading up to the Nature Coast, or the Big Bend, as they say, there is a place that hosts the most gentle aquatic mammals native to Florida. Larry and I have been talking about swimming with the manatees for a few years now, and we wanted to find a place that we knew took the proper precautions for safety of the manatees. Crystal River, known as the manatee capital of the world, offers local guides with knowledge on caring for these beautiful creatures. We start at Plantation Crystal River. We chose this resort because you can both stay and play all in one area. So let's take a tour of our room. The Adventure Center, where we're going to swim with the manatees tomorrow, is located right next door to Plantation on Crystal River. So that was a huge factor of why we chose this hotel. Um, I think Larry really wanted to just be able to get up, have coffee, and like walk down the street. <laughs> I don't think he wanted to drive anywhere far. I get it. There are many different places that do offer the Swim with the Manatees, but we just heard such high reviews about Plantation on Crystal River, as well as our Adventure Center. So we are staying in room 299. This is in the Rose Building. So as soon as you come in, you have the bathroom to your left. Bathtub combo. And this is a closet here. And then here's our room. We have a king room. It looks like they just recently renovated and took up all the carpeting that we had seen in pictures. Let's check out the view. You don't have a balcony here, but you have a canal view. This is gorgeous. It looks very tranquil. And we'll go outside and take like more video and footage. And Tip for you here. Um, when staying in a hotel like this, we're here for one night. Well, we used our chase points. We have a chase Sapphire card and we love to rack those up so then we can therefore splurge. And if you would like a referral code, I'll put it down in the description for you. Very nice. Hmm. Have you ever played shuffleboard? No. I've never played it. You're getting well, to that I'm age, the, you probably need to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nice. Yeah? I don't know. The resort has a lagoon style pool, fitness and spa, tiki bar, water activities, golf course, gift shop, and restaurant. With everything right here, we spent the rest of the evening relaxing at the resort. We're gonna go swim with the manatees. <laughs> here we go. It's still nighttime outside. Look how dark it is. It's 6.30 <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> Once you arrive at the Adventure Center, you will watch a brief safety video and suit up. While you can spot manatees all year round, the best time to visit and swim with them is November through April. And then our group is called aboard. You'll have both a captain and a guide with you. And it takes only a few minutes to get to Kings Bay. The water stays at a constant temperature of 72 degrees throughout the year. 
We were wearing a five milliliter wetsuit and we found that the water was warmer than the air temperature outside during our travels. It took a little bit to find the manatees, but once we did, well, you'll see. Also known as sea cows, manatees can grow up to 13 feet long and weigh as much as 3,500 pounds. Having finely wrinkled skin, algae often grows on their backs. Manatees are plant eaters, spending eight hours grazing. Manatees cannot survive in water temperatures below 60 degrees, and in winter months, they migrate from the Gulf of Mexico to the natural springs. And always practice passive observation when swimming with these calm mammals. Would you swim with the manatees? Comment below. Next up, we're taken to Three Sister Springs. Once you're back on the boat, you are offered coffee or hot chocolate. We headed to historic downtown Crystal River. There are many options for dining and the cutest gift shops and boutiques. Unfortunately, I think we arrived too late. There are some cute little quaint shops. The only problem is they close at five. We did not know that. We have a half an hour to look around, but do you think that this is a definitely cute little quaint town and it's like a must do, not just to see the manatees, but to come here and see the town. All the shops are really cool, so yeah. check it out. So apparently walking around in this little downtown area, <laughs> crossing Let's Highway just... 98 here is a little dicey. So oh my God, isn't it Highway 98? Put your life in your own hands. <laughs> like the trolley was like, no, I'm going. He's like, gonna run into me, so. Oh my gosh, he was like, you are, and we had the right of way. Pedestrians have the right of way. That's right, that's right. I don't understand it. Thank you for coming along as we discovered Crystal River. If you would like more info, check our description below and tell them there in Vaxenia. All right, I had enough adventure for today. I think I'm good. Let's go back to the hotel and chill. <laughs> save the manatees, don't save the humans. <laughs> hit the Larry's. Save the manatees, hit the Larry's. <laughs>